Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers coming to you on Monday morning, Monday morning dictations. I hope you're going to have a great week, Christmas week. Well, I'm all excited about it and uh, hope you are too. Um, I'm going to talk today about a vitamin that I've taken for quite some time that we have recommended as a prophylaxis and treatment for COVID-19. But it's also just an amazing vitamin that almost everybody should be taking anyway, at least adults. It's called quercetin. That's how you spell it. It's kind of a hard spelling, hard pronunciation too, but quercetin. If you look anywhere on these COVID treatments, quercetin is going to be in there, um, not only as a treatment for early COVID-19, but also as a preventive. But, you know, when I started digging into quercetin, I found a lot of cool stuff about it, and it, it convinced me that I'll be taking quercetin for the rest of my life for a lot of reasons. We know it's antiviral. There's no doubt about that. Um, and I've taken it along with vitamin C for years, but really didn't know exactly why I was taking it. So when I started digging into it, I um, found some amazing things about it. Well, it's, a, it's really a flavonoid, you know, vitamin, flavonoid. What a flavonoid is, is pigment from plants. And those plants are um, onions, grapes, red grapes, wine, um, coffee, tea, um, berries, grains, fruits, um, especially blueberries. Um, and it turns out that, you know, the good things you hear about all these things like um, coffee, for example, you know, may help prevent Alzheimer's disease. It's really not because of the caffeine in the coffee. It's really because of the quercetin in the coffee. So that's a fact I didn't know. But, but anyway, when you realize what all this does for you, you're going to be taking quercetin tomorrow probably. But um, quercetin is really probably the most abundant antioxidant in your body. And when we talk about antioxidants, what happens in your body is you have a lot of what we call free radical damage. Um, your body kind of rusts as it gets older and takes all these insults from nature. So you have all these electrons flying around, and electrons like to pair up. So when you get damaged, those damaged electrons like to pick up another electron and pair with them, so they'll steal it from one of your good cells, and it kind of destabilizes that cell and makes it more vulnerable to cancer and you just what they call oxidative stress oxidative oxygen oxygen is good but it can be bad also um, that's why you want to measure oxidative stress levels or even with your cholesterol the amount of oxidized ldl the bad kind of cholesterol so oxidation free radical um, so you got to think about all this stuff on a kind of a biochemistry model but just take my word for it what you, you need antioxidants in your diet and quercetin is certainly a, a great one for you but the thing i found out we know it reduces inflammation but it also helps your, lower your blood pressure it helps prevent cancer of many types prostate lung breast ovarian liver um it helps in prevention of degeneration of your brain, i.e. Alzheimer's and all those myriad of degenerative brain diseases. Um, it also increases your exercise performance. If you knew that, I would have been taking it years ago. Um, it helps protect you against heart disease. It probably reduces your blood sugars from all evidence and will help you control diabetes and may be helpful in preventing diabetes along with a great diet, of course, low carb, high fat, moderate protein, which is the diet that I recommend for most people. Um, it helps inflammation a lot. A lot of athletes take this to prevent um, getting too sore. It not only helps their performance, it helps them from getting too sore afterwards. Um, they, they did a big study in women that had rheumatoid arthritis. And in almost every one of them, it reduced their early morning stiffness and post-activity 
pain. So think about quercetin in this nature. Um, it also blocks histamine. So it's very useful in treating allergies. Um, in animal studies, it suppressed cancer cells. Um, and it's really just amazing how this thing, how the thing works. Um, the typical dose is about 500 to 1,000 milligrams. Now, the thing about quercetin is that it's not really very bioavailable. In other words, when you take a pill with it, it, it you need something else along with it to help it absorb better. And the one thing I like to take with it is vitamin C. Vitamin C really helps it make, make it a lot more absorbable, absorbable. And also bromelain with bromelain is kind of a digestive enzyme that that helps it be absorbed very well um i, I certainly would recommend if you're thinking about antiviral think about quercetin with vitamin c which is also very antiviral as you know we give large doses of vitamin c and right now with COVID around you better be taking some c but for anti-cancer my favorite is to combine quercetin with curcumin or turmeric, and that's a great anti-cancer little com combo. Um, are there any side effects? Um, very, very few. In my research, the only thing I could really come up with was that you wouldn't want to take more than a thousand milligram pro every day for many days and months. Um, I know some athletes take a little bit higher than that short term. Um, it's a good. It's a good idea to give any vitamin a break anyway, not to take it every day, take an occasional break from it. Kind of like a probiotic, you'd want to take a break from a probiotic and use a different form of it. Um, but the only thing I could find that was if you're taking Coumadin, which is a very potent blood thinner that we don't use much these days anyway, um, it might prolong your bleeding time. And if you're taking a certain antibiotic called a fluoroquinolone like Levaquin or Cipro, um, it might make that antibiotic a little less effective in fighting the bacteria. So those are some things about quercetin. I love quercetin. I take it every day. You should especially take it right now along with your other anti-COVID regimen that we're doing along with, of course, C, D, zinc, and quercetin. Our Vitamin C with life extension has quercetin in it. I'm even taking an extra one myself right now. So think about um, the vitamin quercetin. I recommend it highly. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas week, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, the dictations for next year. And have a wonderful week. Stay safe.